Hey guys, Liam here. Today I'm at the, just outside the Smoking Panda. So I'm here for the Subtle Asian Dating, um, their very first Sydney meetup, where we've got 50 guys, 50 girls come together, you know, swap introductions, Facebooks, LinkedIn, and hopefully it's gonna be a great night and let's see how we go. Like, what did you expect coming here tonight? Like, what were you hoping to do? Expected a lot of sad people here. Low self-esteem, probably, you know, it's like when people go to raves just for like, just for fun. But I know it's just somewhere where, you know, they want to like, hook up. Hook up, yeah. Hook up, yeah. I didn't really have any expectations. I am just came and meet people. I came to meet people, but on the extra, if I meet some beautiful women like these two, it's all good. I'm mainly just here to meet new people and really just having a good time. I'm wing womening my friend. Was it successful? Like I think it's successful. I mean, they're still together, so. My friend dragged me here. Yeah. yeah. He said it was a good event. Yeah. It turned out to be really good. So, yeah. like, it's good to take that opportunity. I do not know anyone here. We can friends. Friends. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So here's the thing, because we always, you know, in our closed circle close bubble so I think it's important to you know try different things but you know you could you could meet new people anywhere why why this specific event I think being like Asian as well like an Asian event so you feel a bit more I guess relaxed about how the situation is and there isn't that cultural there's a cultural understanding the, I think one cultural understanding is that I've had three people ask me for my LinkedIn not not for my Facebook <laughs> it's not just a normal event you know like you have to pay 10 bucks to come right like, why do you actually take that leap if it's 10 bucks if it's 100 bucks if it's free hey that's even better but at the end of the day like the, the connections that you can make out of these types of events prices Is there anyone that's kind of caught your eye yet or? Um, oh, don't lie to me. I there know. are a few. And you go check a little bit their profile picture and I was just like, yeah, I'm convinced. Nah, you know? Yeah, yeah. But I was quite amazed when I saw a few guys here. I was like, whoa, all right, that's interesting, you know? There was a guy, but I think he left. <laughs> so. yeah, and I was going to wingman for her, but you know. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, 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 not yet. Like, not yet? Do you have high standards? <laughs> I think I found two. <laughs> yeah, leave some for the rest of them. Do you tend to approach guys or get approached? I like approaching guys. What do you say? What do you do? What's your move? If I saw someone attractive, I'd just go up and say hi. Everyone kind of knows, like, everyone else is in here for the same reason. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Everyone's here to get love. If you're in a group of people, then I'd be like, what are you doing? You guys should, like, mingle. And then I'd catch that one guy and make good conversation. If he's alone, I'll go like, hey, do you want to get a drink? Start with a social hello, hello, and then deep dive, you know? You know, when do you want to get married? How many kids do you want to have? That kind of stuff, yeah? No, no, that's too much. Yeah. It's an Asian thing, don't yeah. worry about it. <laughs> Plainly introduce myself, try to get her name. That's the first thing. Like if people forget the name, that is like no. Like maybe I say I like your I don't know, I like your hat or I like your <laughs> I don't have moves. I I'm intoxicated, so it's just like hi. I think it's much easier for girls. Yeah. See it's either the girls accept the move or they don't. Uh, I'll probably yeah, go up to chat as well and see if we have a good conversation or good vibe. So let's say you guys had a good conversation already. You know, if you wanted to break the touch barrier, what would you do exactly? There is a person over there. Yeah, I'll probably wait for the guy to make a move though. I'll put my arm around her if she was alright with it. But you wouldn't know she's alright with it yeah, until you did it. it. So doesn't that mean you should do it? I think she's alright with it. Do you think she's alright with it? You wouldn't want to try it out, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. Do you have a girlfriend? No, not at all. Can you show me your hands? Yeah. Now you do. Oh, fantastic. Very strong grip. I just go straight up to them. Just, just go straight up to them? Yeah. White beat around the bush, right? Do you want to see my move? It's pretty bad, yeah, though. Okay. Do you want to count shoulders and say yes? Yes. Wait. One, two, three, four. I feel that, violated. <laughs> yeah, that, that's all I got. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, I go home, I'm dead. I'm out. When you guys decide to come to this event, we kind of taking a bit of a joke, but seriously. Yeah, well, she came down from Melbourne, so we're like, oh, let's go to this sad meeting. Yeah. 
Thank it's you. not so sad after all. <laughs> I was half and half. I was kind of like, I'll meet some new people, but if I find someone I like, I think I'll talk to them. You know, like I'm not, I'm not opposed to to not meeting anyone, but personally, I just wanted to bring people together. But to me, I don't want to, I don't want to put expectations, because then. If it doesn't happen, then you know you feel bad, right? Exactly. How do you feel about the whole event and stuff? How things are going for you? Um, I feel like it's pretty shit. Everyone playing dance music. Either the, the girls are too shy and the guys are too creepy. Tell me a little bit about how this whole event kind of came together. So it started with me having some cake barbecue with some friends. We had one too many shots of soju. And then we started talking about how single we are and how our parents wanted an Asian boyfriend, girlfriend, all that stuff. And it went to a point where we talked about SAD and I pointed out to them like, why don't we do it offline? Yeah. And then I put in an event pay job. Yeah. It was getting so much traction. Yeah. And then um, Humphrey came up to me and went like, "Hey, like we're trying to do the same thing. Let's just yeah, let's yeah. just work together." And oh. yeah, I think we all kind of just wanted to do something that brought people together. Like there was subtle Asian traits and all yeah, these yeah, yeah. other communities. And like I, I personally thought, you know, it'd be cooler if there was something in person where you could meet and mingle with other people. Then I met Cindy. We started to sit together and we went like, yeah, let's do this all together, you know? Hey, why don't we just like take a chance and take a risk and just actually do it? And that risk worked out really well. Like, we actually thought it was like, you guys were close friends. No, we weren't. Like, I've never met them before the event. They've never met me before the event. Like, what's your goal with this? What are you hoping to achieve? First goal of it all was just for, like, obviously the hosts to get a date out of it, right? Then it came to a point in which we all had fun hooking people up, like matching people yeah, yeah, yeah. up. We hope to bring people together in a social atmosphere, which is at ease, but it's not too pressured in like a dating sense. Like I'm passionate about being Asian Australian, and I wanted to see more things that like created more community, and this was just the way to do it. And like when you go to fellow Asian dating, all you see on those pages are really the flexing types. And I wanted to, we all wanted to achieve this idea that not all Asians look like Nick Young, and Rachel Chu, you know what I mean? Is there any friend that you've got that you want to auction off today? Can you give me a Our friend over Alfred. here. Alfred! He's the whole thing. He's so ready to mingle. He can grow his beard in like within a month. Not many Asians can do that. Khan? He's too friendly. Too, way too friendly. Yeah. If you play a bit like hard to get, I think like that's the way, man. It's it's nice to be nice. I heard that she's a boyfriend. Well, he, he doesn't actually know that she's here tonight. So. Pro, he looks like a K-pop star. He does. Korean? No, Thai. Shit, that's very cool. Han, he's, uh, he looks Korean. <laughs> Obviously, Cindy, one of our hosts. Pros, she's an amazing woman. She's so mature, focused, determined, driven. She can take care of anyone. She can take care of this event, obviously. Khan, uh, when she's too focused, She's in the zone about it, and she tends to be shy. Yeah. But that's a cute trait to me. I mean, if I were a guy, that's kind of cute. So I'd say one of my my two co-hosts because they've worked really hard on this. I know they're both single, so I can't say this. But I'm sure you guys have had a lot of late nights planning the event. I'm yeah. surprised nothing's happened yet. <laughs> What kind of events do you guys have planned in the future? Anything that's kind of coming up well, might come along in the future? Probably exhibits, meetups, networking. If there's a good reception to this, which I think there is, we're definitely going to do more in the future. You, know, you can always do other stuff that kind of promotes the, the Asian Australian identity, I guess. So there's definitely more stuff coming, that's all I can say. Hey guys, thanks for watching our Subtle Asian Dating video. There's plenty more culture and creative videos to come, so don't forget, Hit that like and subscribe button and I'll catch you guys later.